Hello dear students very good afternoon to all of you I sincerely hope that you all are doing well at homes and taking good care of yourself to prevent the spread of this corona virus pandemic in India a very famous saying is there prevention is better than cure ilaj se parhez acha pray for the warriors and keep on following the suggested measures to avoid the expansion of this disease now let's turn to the motive of these classes the motive is to enhance to increase your knowledge in each and every possible respect for english as i have already suggested you in few previous classes and now reminding you again the same you just need to continue reading the english text or any useful content written in english allowed for 20 to 30 minutes a day along with this reading activity i am giving you a written work too as we have completed a lesson from the supplementary reader so giving you a work from there you just need to pick out any 30 to 35 verbs of your choice from the recently completed story the lost child written in any conjugation doesn't matter you just need to pick out these verbs arrange them in alphabetical order find their meanings whether in hindi or english your choice whatever way you find yourself comfortable with so find the meanings of these verbs and complete the rest of the forms too of each verb in your english notebook have you got it yes it will be seen whenever we meet revise the meanings of these verbs regularly it is very clear students those who do the given work honestly are always benefited positively the story we have recently finished is somewhere a sad one that ends with the cries of a lost child let's have an entertaining one now our next story the adventures of toto would definitely make you smile before reading the text i will make you familiar with this story its characters etc i'm sure you are going to find this story as an amusing one an entertaining one a delightful story okay then something about the author first author is a very important person who writes Ruskin Bond was born in Himachal Pradesh in May 1934. He has proved himself as an author and novelist in English literature and he is still alive and living in Mussoorie. He has won many awards like the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992. the padma shri in 1991 and the padma bhushan in 2014 with this introduction of the writer i would like to tell you something about the story now this story is about the author's grandfather's love for animals he had many pets One day he bought a baby monkey from a Tonga driver and named it Toto. Yes, T O T O Toto. He wanted Toto because he already possessed a tortoise, a pair of rabbits, a tame squirrel, a goat, but no monkey. The author tells us about how his grandfather saw Toto tied up to a feeding trough. Trough means trench, duct. 
and was attracted towards it. He decided to buy him from the Tonga driver for 5 rupees. Yes, dear students, that time 5 rupees was a big amount for the author's grandfather. The story describes how Toto used his body, hands and tail, which he used as a third hand, to his advantage. He used the tail to hang from a branch and for scooping up, for receiving any delicacy that might be out of the reach of his hands. Initially, Toto's presence was kept a secret from grandmother as she didn't like animals. Moreover, she didn't like the habit of grandfather of bringing new animals to his private zoo. One day, when grandfather was going out of station, he decided to take Toto along with him. A big black canvas kit bag was provided for Toto so that he could not escape. We are told about Toto's adventures sitting inside the bag and how he drew the attention of the people on the platform by jumping frantically. By jumping madly inside the bag, he even jumped with, a, with it and scared the ticket collector at the ticket turnstile. Turnstile means mechanical gate. Finally, grandmother accepted Toto and found it difficult to cope with this animal, to cope with his mischief. One day during the winter season, when Toto went for a bath, an incident occurred to him as he was in the habit of testing the temperature of the water before entering into the basin and then bathing, like human beings do. How does he learn to do this way? Actually, he observed grandfather doing the same way before taking bath. So he learnt it from there. One another day, Toto saw a kettle of water kept on the fire for making tea. He felt the temperature of the water warm enough for his bathing. So he jumped in. However, the water soon reached the boiling point. Toto wanted to come out but couldn't do so. As he tried to come out of the kettle, he found it cold outside. So he kept himself again inside the kettle. Thankfully, grandmother saw him and rescued him that day. On yet another occasion, he saw the dining table laid for lunch with a dish of rice, pulao, in the center. Toto got in onto the table and started eating. When grandmother saw and screamed, Toto threw the plate at her. When an ant came and laughed, he threw a glass at her. Finally, Toto took the dish and climbed up a tree and sat on its branches till he had finished eating. After finishing the rice, after eating, he threw the dish down. As he threw it down, it broke into pieces. Soon, grandfather realized that Toto was not the type of pet to be kept in his house for long. So, he somehow found the Tonga driver and sold Toto back to him for 3 rupees. Yes, it was a loss for him, but in some way he saved so many other losses by returning Toto to the Tonga driver. Let's talk something about the central idea of this story. Actually, this story is based on the experiences of people.
who keep animals as pets the theme thus deals with the experience of having a wild animal as a pet it shows that no toll animals can adapt themselves to the human environment as the monkey in the story created a lot of trouble for its owner and finally the author had to get rid of him had to return him to the same person it requires a great patience and skill to train animals to get non destructive behavior from them after all we should respect animals and keep them in comfort just like the narrator sets an example through this story by doing so there so thank you students this is for the day done please complete your return work positively take care of yourself